In this video, we're going to take this radio controlled boat on this flooded skate park. But first, we're going to do a couple of modifications. <laughs> By the way, want to win one of my RC cars? See the link in the description. So here we've got a radio controlled jet boat, which is amazing for bashing, but not so good at something else. More on that later. A normal boat's got propellers at the back, which is great until you get to shallow water, then all this stuff sticking out is just gonna get destroyed. If you go over to the jet boat, there's nothing sticking out. Everything's sort of flush on the bottom. So you can bash this over logs, you can hit rocks and not worry about smashing off all this delicate stuff underneath. The problem is with the jet boat, they don't go backwards very well. Oh! Oh sh! doesn't sit, does it? Oh. I just got no reverse. Oh no! <laughs> I told you it doesn't reverse. Uh, uh, how are we gonna get it? No, I hope it's not too deep. On a normal boat, the propellers spin round and it pushes water back, making the boat go forward. On a jet boat, it's all on the inside. So basically, you've got a pickup on the bottom here, the water goes in there, it goes through some sort of a fan, blade, jet thing, whatever it is in there, and it fires it all out the back here. The trouble is, to go backwards, it's going to try and suck water in through that hole there and then fire it out the bottom, so it's not really going to go backwards. Also with these boats, you've only got steering when you're on power. So say you're going up towards an obstacle and you're like, oh, panic, stop, 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 and then you get no steering. You go into the obstacle and then you can't steer, you can't reverse, you can't just stuck there and then you've got to try and go out there and rescue it. So we need a solution. And this here, I think, is the solution, this is a reversing bucket. So the idea is that that goes on there, then this thing here goes up and down like that. So when you want to reverse, this goes over this nozzle thing here, because look, that steers when you're going along like that. That's going to divert all the water that way, and then we can reverse, hopefully. So in this video, we're going to fit it, and then take it out and see if it's any good. Oh, who we got here? Who are you? <laughs> Stemp in the house. What's this bloody thing? Wow, wow, wow. Here we got Stempy's jet boat. Stempy's got the same kit as me. We both got to put them in, so we get servo, all this stuff here, and the actual bucket. And somehow we got to figure out how to get all this stuff into there. Now, if we go over to Streamline RC YouTube channel, there's full instructions how to put it in. Uh, what's first? Uh, drill. <laughs> Off the ponytail. What are you done to there? Arse. <laughs> hopefully that's in the right place. Right, this is my boot. And now hopefully this one is just going to slide over like that. So we're going forward. It's all coming out of there. And then you want to go backwards. Then it's going to go backwards. So we've got to get the other servo for the bucket. And that's got to go on there. And that can all go back in. Next, we've got to get this back into here. And it's tight. Dempy reckons bend this over. But I'm scared it's going to break. So next up, we've got another radio to use on there because we've got an extra channel. We've got the old fly sky there. And next up, we've got to bind that to, I think, the receiver that's in there. The instructions are on here how to do it, so we're just going to go ahead and watch it. Boom! Got it all working. So we've got it all bound up to the new radio now. So we've got steering. Power's working. And now for the main party trick, channel number three, we hit that. Forward. Brakes and reverse. More than 250 flood warnings are in place across England and Wales. We've been here for the last couple of hours. Of oh man, look at that. My buddy Chris has sent me a picture of a flooded skate park. Let's go check it out. Oh my God, look at that. What is going on? Somewhere in there is the skate park. And it's been closed due to the flooding, so hopefully we won't get in trouble by the authorities. So over there, I think the water's coming up to about, about here somewhere. Andy's got the right gear. No, I haven't. <laughs> He's got bin bags. What have we got to try and make do? Off the vertical wall. LGBTQ+. Is this fashion. a new fashion? Not if you say so. Yeah. So oh, this no. one's mine. Man. So this boat here is for Andy and Jason. Yay! Yeah, it's that's for you as well. No. This one here is 4S. This one here is 6S. Okay. But they look exactly the same. I can't see any difference. So, so we're going to see. I reckon plug a 6S battery into this one and end the well, video. Well, later. Later, we're going to try that. <laughs> if it survives on 4S, we're going to see if the 4S boat can take 6S. It no, might go really fast. Whoa, what have you got? It's a mini minion boat. Oh, cool. That's my boat. Yeah, go on then. You ready, Andy? Less waffle, yeah. more action. Yep, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Waffle, waffle, waffle. <laughs> So here we got the skate park, and you know what that means? We're gonna hit the jumps full speed. Oh, look at that, they're off. 
Go to a new flare on 4S, let's have a look. So the green boat is the much cheaper 4S edition, the red boat, the full fat 6S performance model. And 6S. Right, so now we're stuck on the thing, so we hit the reverse bucket, reverse bucket down. Oh, look at that, it goes backwards, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is forward and we hit the button now look reverse oh yes this is the one <laughs> oh. now there's jason's little one this is a homemade 3D printed boat with a crazy power system. If you want to see more about this boat, let me know and I might make a future video about it. <laughs> oh, we're upside down. Wash that self right in function work. I want to get into the half pipe. Try and go over this one. Oh, hey, you made it. How? Over the top of mine. We got a bit of half pipe action. <laughs> I'm trying to steer it on it like a car, but you can't. Oh, come on, come on, come on, yes! <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes, we're off! Oh, no, we're getting deeper. I want to see if we can get it all the way around this bend. Oh, it works! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, look at that, you've got a recovery team. Look at that, legend. Thank you, mate. Hey. Oh, oh, no, not again. Well done, thanks, mate. Here we go, flat out. Now we've got reverse bucket issues. Oh no, look here, look. It's all gone funny here, look. Well, well, I think the servo's packed up as well. Oh no, what's happened? Oh, I think the servo's packed up for this. Are we going to cable tie this up somehow? We've got an operation going on here. There we go, operation complete, but now we've got no reverse. So the race is, is to the bin, around the bin and back here. Go. My God. Don't forget, later on, we're going to try 6S on the 4S boat and see what happens. Wow. wow. I think we've got to do the ultimate durability test. Come on, Max. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, give it your best. Give it your best shot. Right, so that's 4S. Now let's see how far the 6S can go. All right, here we go, full speed. Oh. It's not behaving right. Oh, I've lost control of it. It's not doing what it's meant to do. Oh, look, I'm done, look. The servo mount's gone. That's why I've got no steering. So for me, that's game over. But, bring it over, Max. We've got 6S for you. Surely if you've got a lower KV motor, but on a higher like, S, it should go faster. Well, hopefully, or it might blow up. Well, here we go, 6S lipo in the 4S. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right, so we're on 6S now. Now, if you need a product durability testing, this is the man you give it to, Mad Max. Hey! Oh, nearly! <laughs> oh, no, the same thing's happened to this one. Finley's got his crawler. Cable tie friends. The rescue. Hey, more cable ties. Boom. Hey, back in action. Ah. 
Nice! <laughs> What are you doing now, Max? My plan is go flat out from over there. Yeah. See if I can get it over this grass mound. Into that river. And see if I can jump it back over as well. All right. If it doesn't work and it gets stuck in there, you've got to go and get it. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> and he's off. I'm back over. Oh, is it flat? Is it flat? Well, it survived you. Yeah, I don't know how it happened. Great success, I couldn't kill it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? Do you reckon my feet are dry? It's a moment of truth. I reckon that one will be dry, the other one will be wet. No. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that was so much fun. The reverse bucket worked well when it worked, but when it sort of kind of jammed up, obviously that was a pain in the butt. So I'm going to have to try and do something with this because what happens that rod kind of bends and then goes through there and then it jams it all up. So maybe if we put it on the other way around or whatever, we'll have a little play with that. Durability wise, these boats are made to take a beating. All these pots are all replaceable. It's got all these skid plates here across the bottom, look. And I think for a future video, I want to modify it. So this one here can take 6S LiPo and I think I might replace the speed controller and have it so it can take like 8S or maybe even 12S. What do you reckon? No idea if it's going to take it, but <laughs> worth a go. Now, if you want to know where you can get these boats, Boats for I'm going to put a link to all of that lot down below. Now you'll notice on the 4S boats when we put 6S lipos into it it started bouncing like this. This boat used to do the same and you can actually adjust it all at the back here look you can adjust these little I think they're called trim pads and you can also adjust that nozzle here to change all the height so you can adjust it and set it up so it stays more in the water and stops hopping. Now obviously when you overvolt stuff it makes it faster but you also run the risk of blowing it up. So make sure you subscribe and smash the bell to stay notified and see if this boat here is gonna take more voltage in future. And check out one of these videos here and I'll see you over there in a minute.